This video lesson is going to be on how to create a Google form and by inserting a script called MCQ it will allow you to automatically email the students their results to that test within about five seconds of hitting the submit button. It also allows you the opportunity to give them a link to a website in which the students can go to that link to find the correct answer. That way they're not just taking a test missing questions and not really knowing why they missed it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a form. So we're going to go right over here to create. We're going to go down to form and remember a form is similar to what you're going to use for a quiz or a test, an exit pass or something like that. And while this is loading for us, MCQ is a very easy script to find. There are a ton of steps to it but the neat thing with the video you can just pause it and go back first thing I want to do is just give this a quick title. I'm just going to put practice test. Please do your best on the test. The first question I want to be is what is your email address because that is what is going to allow us to automatically email the students their scores. So what is your email address? I'm going to make this a text question in which they have to type in their answer. I'm going to make this a required question. I'm going to click done. And I'm going to do a couple of other sample questions. Sample question two, I'm going to put what is the capital of Iowa? And I want to do this multiple choice. That way it allows me to do this special MCQ script. So I'm going to put Iowa City. I'm going to put Sioux City, I put Cedar Rapids, and then I put Des Moines. And at this point I'm not clicking the correct answer. I'm just going to put make this a required question. I'm going to press done. I'm going to add one more question. I do want it to be multiple choice. This one I'm going to put what is the US holiday that is celebrated on December 25th. I'm going to give them multiple choice as well. So I'll put Halloween, Christmas, we'll put Thanksgiving, and then let's put Valentine's Day. And again, we're not selecting the correct answer here. We're just making the form. I'm going to put make this a required question, then I'm going to click on done. If this is the way I wanted my particular test to go, it does automatically save, but I'm just going to go push save just to make sure that it is going to get saved. Right over here in the middle, it usually does say save. I'm going to allow users to edit responses. And for this particular one, you would require South Sioux City Schools sign in to view this form. You could also automatically click respondent South Sioux City Schools username. But for this particular one, we're just going to set it up this way. I'm just going to exit out of my form. I'm going to go back into my drive and as you can see on my drive I have the practice test so I'm going to open this up and this will open it up into a spreadsheet. Once I'm in my spreadsheet I'm going to go to insert which is right up here and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and it says script. I'm going to click on script. Two ways of searching for scripts you can come over here and click on education it'll give you all the education related scripts or if you do know a specific one like Flubaroo for grading or MCQ, you can just type it right in there. I'm going to type in MCQ, hit the search button. There are a couple of choices, but the one that we want to use is the one down here. It says MCQ test, email score and correction. I'm going to press install. It takes a little bit of time. And while every time you load a script it'll ask you a question like this authorize or authorization required you can just quickly read through that I've already read this through this a few times so I'm just gonna press authorize and then you'll have this screen that says it's it's complete you can now run this particular script I'm just gonna press close it is installed and I can see that right here so I can just close out of that now this right here may look kind of confusing and not exactly sure what's going on it's really easy let me just kind of break this down for you this is going to be the email that the students are going to receive so in this subject it'll say MCQ answers 
if you want to change that and it could say let's say chapter 2 test results you can just click right there you can go up here you can delete it and you can type in whatever you want it to say remember whatever you type in here all of your students will see a couple of things you cannot delete don't delete anything over here that's all part of the script and then also don't delete the BR BR and the BR over here that's dealing with their email addresses and then it also gives them their score automatically so just don't delete any of that if you don't like the word wrong maybe you want to say incorrect you can click right there go up here and you can actually just type in the word incorrect and as usual it will automatically save everything for you once you have that then you need to actually go back and take the take the test so we're going to go to form and go to go to live form and the live form is just where I'm going to actually take the test and for the first one instead of actually putting my email address in I'm just going to type in email address that gives the MCQ script what it needs to to get to the students email addresses now I'm going to select the correct answers for this so what is the capital of Iowa I'm going to pick Des Moines what is the US holiday that is celebrated on December 25th I'm going to click on Christmas and I'm going to click submit now if you had a question that was not a multiple choice question you would just type in not MCQ so if you had like a text answer you would just put not MCQ and the MCQ script can recognize that it takes you back to this page if you look down here at your tabs you have a tab that says sheet one and you have one that says setup and results currently I'm in the setup and results section so I just want to go over to sheet number one and as you can see here's my answer choices the timestamp is an, a fabulous tool to use because it tells you exactly what time the student submitted their particular answer now I'm gonna go down to row number three I'm gonna type in explanations and then what I want to do is I want to go to the internet go to the web and find the spot the students can get the information for the correct answer let's say the students didn't know the capital of Iowa was Des Moines I want to give them a link in their email that they can click on to go find the correct answer once they find that correct answer they can then prove it to me that they learned it we don't want kids just forgetting what they're learning or just saying oh yep yep that was on the last test it's done with it's over with we want the students to learn it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to the web and I'm just gonna go for this one I'm gonna go to ask.com ask.com is a very easy website to use so I'm gonna type in what is the capital of Iowa I'm gonna find my answer there's a ton of different answers here you can just simply find the one that you think works the best I'm just gonna click right here where it says more and that's going to bring us to a page that possibly gives us some background information maybe some pictures or some information that um, would help us learn a little, little bit more about this this one it just says the capital of Iowa is Des Moines that one works we can use that so what I want to do is I want to go up here and I want to click in the box in our URL address I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go down to copy then I'm gonna go back to my test and I'm gonna right click right in here because this row says explanations we don't need an explanation for email address we need the explanation for the capital of Iowa so then I'm gonna press control V as in control like velcro or I can do a right click paste so there's my first answer now I want to go find the answer for what is the holiday celebrate so I'm gonna go right back to ask.com this time I'm gonna type in what is the holiday what is the US holiday holiday celebrated on December 25th I'm gonna press find answers now there are a bunch of different answers that you don't really want the kids to get to you do want to find the one that makes the most sense so I'm gonna go right down here what is the holiday that's celebrated December 25th I'm gonna press more and I want to make sure that this does have the correct answer and it does say Christmas Day right there so I'm going to do the exact same thing go up to my website address and I click there I'm going to right click it go to copy go back to my test and I'm going to right click over here this time and I can just go to paste if this box pops up 
just press allow access. There's my other answer. So now I have both of my explanations for those. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to what is called the tools. So I'm going to click on tools. I'm going to go down to my script editor. Once I'm in my script editor, this is going to be a lot of code and um, HTML things. I don't understand most of this, so don't even worry about what you're seeing right now. What you need to know is this button right up here. It's called Current Scripts Triggers. I'm going to click on that. kind of looks like a, a clock. It says No Trigger Setup. Click here to add, new, add one new, now. I'm going to click right there. Now here are a couple of different options for the running. If you want it to run, you can send an email right after submission. So when the kids take the test, they hit the submit button, they're going to automatically get their results. Or you can send all emails at a given time. If you wanted to send the emails, let's say at Friday night at five o'clock or something like that, you could set it up that way. For this particular demonstration, I'm just gonna go send email right after submission. After we've selected send email right after submission, we're going to go over here and the options are time driven. That'd be based on if you chose the first option as send emails at a given time. Since it is send after submission, it's from spreadsheet. And it's not on open, it's actually on form submit. So right when the students press submit, they're going to receive the email. We do want to go down here and we want to press save. And then once we have this all done, we're just going to go back up here. We're going to exit out. Our form is set up. So when the students take their test, they will receive an email within about five to six seconds that shows them what their answers were. And it will also show them their links. Here's an example of what the student's email will look like once they've submitted their test. So and you can see it does say, hi, here's your score to your MC or our MCQ. And again, you can change all that. You can change the subject line. And if you notice right here, I did change it so it said incorrect instead of wrong. And that did change when the students received their score. Their score is right here. And down here it says your mistakes. Here's the question they missed. Here was their answer. I didn't fix it yet, sorry. And again, once the students receive this email, they can click on the link down here, and this link will take them back to the correct answer. Thank you very much.